Okay, so about seven years ago was the last time I went to the doctor for tinnitus. Okay, that was 2017. So 24 minus 17, seven years. There you go. Um, when I went there, the thing that they did was clear out my ear for uh, wax buildup, which basically means they took a turkey baster and filled it with hot water and squeegeed it into my ear to run out any excess wax buildup. Yeah, that was a few thousand dollars and it did nothing. <laughs> it's like, great, thank you for the equivalent of like six showers worth of water in my ear. Um, but my head is still ringing, so like, that's cool, man. Well, that's a, a grade A turkey baster, and that hot water was boiled with, uh, you know, like medical stoves. So uh, that'll be $3,000, please. <sighs> okay, look. If I pay a plumber to fix my leaky toilet and they don't fix it, it's still leaking water everywhere, um, they have to come back and work on that to fix the leak before I pay them the rest of the money, okay? Uh, but the medical system is like, no, dude, dude we, we did it. We, how do you feel? <laughs> no better. Not better at all. Like at all. So um, I just wanted to talk today about the state of the art. Uh, what do we have available for people who are living with tinnitus and uh, what can the medical system provide them for relief, okay? So I've got a computer right over here and I asked the wonderful world of AI because we all know that that's, you know, so awesome right now and not totally a bubble and, you know, oh, we'll deal with that later. Um, AI tells me that there are a few therapies and uh, if you're suffering from tinnitus, Here's what you could do. Here's what you can go to a doctor for to get some help for your situation. Um, sound therapy. <laughs> okay, so hearing aids, cochlear implants, uh, different sound generators to mask the tinnitus sound with relaxing sounds. I've heard good things about this. Different um, uh, cochlear implants and hearing aids that help with the, the symptoms of tinnitus. I've heard good things. They're all anecdotal. I mean, way to go sound therapy engineers you made some good hearing implants and cochlear implants i if that works for you i'm so happy for you and i'm, I'm glad that that's a thing and then we get down to the next stuff which behavioral therapies oh interesting so uh cognitive behavioral therapy cbt a very common practice in the psychology department um, can be very beneficial to people Absolutely. Uh, it also relates to the tinnitus retraining therapy, TRT, meaning we're going to help you think differently about your tinnitus. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? <laughs> uh, the ringing in my ears, <laughs> it's there, and I just have to think about it differently. Awesome. Can you cure it? No. We're just going to work on my perspective. What if it's really, really loud? What if it's almost painfully loud? I'm just, I'm just gonna sit in therapy and we're just gonna zen it out. Like, okay, okay, uh, you know what? There's some wisdom in that. There is, there is. But uh, if I'm going to the doctor and you're like, just think about it differently, bro. Um, I'm gonna be a little frustrated, okay? Um, here's the third one, stress reduction. Using techniques like biofeedback or measured breathing to help reduce stress and anxiety, those can make tinnitus worse. <sighs> yeah, how's that very much different from the second one, okay? You're learning, first you're learning how to think about it differently, and then over here, you're reducing stress. Okay, reduce stress in your life. I mean, that's all good and dandy, but uh, what if your life is really stressful? We talked about that a little bit on the channel. You know, many, many reasons to have stress or how to alleviate stress, sure. But uh, that's not exactly solving my problem. I still have the ringing in my ears. And uh, on top of that, I have to deal with all the problems in my life. So uh, you're not really curing the ringing in my ears. You're just telling me, like, chill out, dude, even though you got some problems going on. Counseling is the next one, you know, to help you learn how to cope with tinnitus. I, I feel like that falls in the first, excuse me, in the, the second and third option there. Like learning how to deal with it with CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, and learning how to reduce stress. You know, go talk to a counselor. Hey, my ears ring. 
cool, man. That'll be a thousand dollars. Like, <sighs> the most frustrating part of having tinnitus is when you think, oh, I'm, I'm gonna go to medical professionals. I'm gonna go to the hospital. You know, they've got doctors on this thing, right? They have research centers and, and people working diligently to help with the ringing in my ears. And you get there and they fill a turkey baster with boiling water and stick it in your ear. And the ringing's still there afterwards, but they smile at you like, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> don't you feel better? <laughs> no, I don't feel better at all. It's still ringing. And now like my ears are wet and I get to walk around with that weird sloshing sound. Like, uh, thanks. I'll pay that bill happily. I, I just find that so frustrating. And you look seven years later, okay? Like I said earlier, it was seven years ago I was at the doctor. Maybe there's been huge adva advancements, right? Well, let's plug into the, the new tool that everyone's happy about. Big ol' AI, blah, blah, blah. Cures for tinnitus, treatments for tinnitus. And they're like, just think about it differently, bro. Okay, okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath. I'm gonna employ some of those stress reduction techniques <laughs> and I'll just think about it differently. You know, I'll just change my mindset and everything will get better. Wow, <laughs> wow, <laughs> just, you, you're a medical professional. And in, in many other cases, People come to you and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm a little overweight. I would like to fix that. Well, we can recommend exercise, a change in diet, and these brand new pills or injections that'll help you lose the extra fat. Awesome, awesome. There's some advances in that. There's plenty of advancements in prosthetics. You know, if, if you lost an arm, God bless you. I hope you're doing well. Um, we have some options for you in the form of graspers that we can add to your whatever you're missing, okay? There's options. But if you have some kind of neurological disorder where your ears are constantly ringing, or maybe it's inner ear damage in whatever regard, and just think about it differently, bro. Just, uh, just go to counseling. It'll get better. Whoo! That is the most frustrating thing with me. For, for tinnitus, tinnitus research, for cures. Like I said in the previous video, it doesn't bug me that much because I'm always busy. I'm not really thinking about it. It's not too loud in my case. Great, I'm very blessed. But if things were worse, if this was unignorable, if this was painful, as many people have, have reported, and I don't necessarily want to go to the doctor because a turkey baster cost me $1,500. If, if that were the case, I would go to the internet and I would look up some kind of solution. And the solution is like, just turn your attitude around. Hmm. Good luck. Good luck. I, I hope all of you out there who are dealing with any kind of ringing in your ears, anyone who suffers from tinnitus, anyone at all, I, I wish you the best. I hope life treats you well. I hope you're coping well with this. And I hope there's some extravagant breakthroughs you know, that, that could bring you aid over time from, from the field of medicine. I hope there's cures. Maybe those cochlear implants could really help. Maybe a hearing aid. You scroll down a little bit and they're like, hey, uh, just get some uh, low volume radio static. Oh my God, they want you to listen to radio static. Uh, or a fan, you know, put some white noise on. That helps me a lot, especially when you're trying to sleep. Um, <laughs> I hope there's some breakthroughs for you. I hope you're handling it well. And honestly, not the worst advice, okay? Go talk to someone. Please reach out. Because uh, in a previous video I did about depression, like, when you're feeling really bad, that's no joke, okay? Depression takes lives. That's really not kidding there. Um, if this is something that you're dealing with and it is painful, incredibly distracting during the day, it, it robs you of your joy of life, please to talk to someone. Just talk to someone immediately, okay? Because that CBT that they're talking about, the cognitive behavioral therapy, the counseling, it will help you. I know I'm making fun of it in this video. I know I'm, I'm mocking the medical solutions that we have, but they can help you when you need it. 
So don't don't undermine that too much. When someone's in need, that's something you can do. I hope you're well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. There you go. My biggest frustration with tinnitus is <laughs> the, the research field is kind of lacking. Okay? Have a good day. Thanks for watching.